A toxic right-wing website is gaming Facebook to reach millions of people in advance of the 2020 election. And Facebook is letting them get away with it. The Daily Wire, which was founded by conservative pundit Ben Shapiro, pushes inaccurate and incendiary stories. Recent content from The Daily Wire claimed gender equality is a lie, LGBTQ people don't want to be accepted by society, and there is not anything that can be done to combat climate change. The Daily Wire is also the 11th most popular publication on Facebook, beating out established names like ABC, CBS, NPR, and USA Today. And that actually understates how well The Daily Wire does on Facebook. Outlets like The New York Times employ hundreds of journalists who produce well over 10,000 pieces of content a month. The Daily Wire has just a few dozen employees that produce much less. On a per article basis, content from The Daily Wire is shared far more often than any other outlet. How does The Daily Wire do it? One factor is a clandestine network of 13 large Facebook pages with names like Conservative News, Fed Up American, and Lady Patriots that purport to be independent but exclusively promote content from The Daily Wire in a coordinated fashion. Dozens of times per day, they post content from The Daily Wire at the same time with the exact same text. This behavior violates Facebook rules, which prohibit, quote, groups of accounts and pages working together to mislead people about who they are and what they're doing. But Facebook says it will continue allowing these pages to operate, insisting they are, quote, real pages run by real people. That's not true. And I've uncovered evidence that at least two of the pages are owned by The Daily Wire. Facebook's decision is a big deal. Its algorithm rewards content that is shared by multiple pages. By having more than a dozen that repeatedly post Daily Wire content, it gives the site a huge edge. The impact on the 2020 election could be significant. Over 40% of Americans get their news from Facebook. Why is Facebook giving The Daily Wire special treatment? We don't know for sure, but we do know that the founder of The Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro, recently had dinner at the home of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. And we know that The Daily Wire has published numerous stories praising Zuckerberg and Facebook. Whatever the reason, on Facebook, there's one set of rules for The Daily Wire and another for everyone else.